wonder if any of you watch these like reality TV shows. So don't judge me, all right? <laughs> but my guilty pleasure every now and then is watching some of these housewife shows. Yes, I'm interested in seeing how the other half lives. And so there is this housewife who, uh, Bethany Frankel, any of you familiar with her? Yeah. yeah. So, see, because you guys watch it too. <laughs> so there was this housewife named Bethany Frankel, very successful woman, and she um, decided, well, you know what, on top of not just marketing myself being on this show, I can create a product that gets to what many women are trying to do. They want to entertain while at the same time lose weight. So she created this drink called the Skinny Girl Margarita. Now, I've heard it tastes awful, but that's beside the point. But she decided to go to various beverage makers to market this product. Beverages, believe it or not, alcohol, spirits, beers, they are a very male-dominated industry. And one after the other organization, company, they said, no, this will never fly. No, we just don't think that there's a market for this. Because you had the same people with the same thought processes who are looking at a very different situation in the same way. However, she went to one more company that finally had the wherewithal to say, you know what, let's give this a try. This is different. We've never you know, heard of a spirit that was a skinny girl or a diet product, but let's see how this works. Multi-million dollar idea. Mm -hmm. sales, you know, sales went right through the roof with that product, on top of the fact that she had a television show. So once again, by being able to look at the same situation but with different thoughts and ideas and perspectives adding into the richness of what kind of solutions are created added up to wonderful results for this company. 